Good evening everyone, as promised in the video that I made on overwintering geraniums. I am now going to show people, because there has been a lot of discussion on Facebook groups, on how to overwinter your begonia corms. Uh, you can typically bring in the, uh, the plant itself, take a planter, put it in a cold dark place and keep, keep watering it a little bit to keep it alive. I don't like doing that because it just adds on to the number of plants I have in my house. So I have gone ahead and uprooted my begonias from my outdoor planters and this is what this looks like right now. This is all frost damaged. What I'll do is first order of business is I'll take a nice sharp pair of skaters and remove anything that is mushy and soft because that will tend to start rotting and I don't want any kind of rot in my in my in my container where I'm going to be storing these bulbs. You can break off the stems directly from the comb itself. I sometimes do that but as I will be drying these off in the shade I don't need to pluck off the stems. If you are going to be removing the stems, it's as easy as basically taking them off from where they are joined to the core. And it makes it look neater and cleaner when you are storing them. There you go. The second order of business is you remove as much soil and the fine fibrous roots from the comb itself so that you are removing as much stuff from the corn that you don't need to store and you don't want to be storing. See there's a baby corn. This baby corn, this baby corn is one that I can remove, uh, I can separate uh, later on in the season when I'm transplanting them to grow. Now you can either make it clean and remove all the brush. I don't typically do that. I just sort of take my hand over it once, remove as much as I can get off and leave it at that. Now these will just be placed in a place where they can breathe for the next few days, usually five to six days and they can dry off. So I want all the damp mud to dry off. Once once they dry off, and I will come back to it and just give you an update on the video, I take old soil, and some of it is from here, old soil which is not totally dry, but which is not wet also. And when I'm storing them, I use a plastic container just put these in the soil and they are good to go till next season when you bring them out in February put them in small nursery pots and with soil and put them in your window cells and encourage them to grow thank you everyone please type in comments for questions just thought I would give you everyone a quick update on another thing that can come up when you're doing these comms so if you notice here, this one corn has parts that are rotting. You don't want this whole corn to be stored with your other corns because it will basically ruin or start spreading the rot to other, other parts of your bulbs. So what I typically do is once I've cleaned whatever I can, I let it sit for a couple of days so that it's drier and then using a knife I cut off the areas that are rotten. Once I have removed everything which is soft and mushy, I let it dry in the shade again for till it calluses up and then then is when I store it again.